Hey there guys, something Ninja here, and um, today is another tutorial, hooray tutorials, um, again with Survivor Games plugin, and I'm going to be talking to you guys like um, through kind of the config, because I'm having so many questions about like, why is this not working, and I'm just going to be answering some like general questions, like frequently asked questions basically. So, if you're watching this video, and you want to know how to make a Minecraft server, then you'll want that video. If you want to know how to make it a bucket, you want this next video. Um, if you want to learn the basics of how to set up like the arenas, you want... It's not on their video. Um, it's, the, it's the updated version of this one. Don't watch that one, that's the old one. If uh, Deops aren't joining, you want to watch this one. This is how to allow permissions. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Um, so, you're here to find out um, how to do the, uh, perm uh, not the permission, the config. So we'll go straight in, and here's my server. Um, it's really complicated, as you see, because I've got everything else up. I want to go into plugins, and I want to have games, and I want... Uh, okay, so this is the first one. We've got chest. So you want to edit with notepad++. plus plus. Thank you. This is very simple. I mean, so many people are messing this up. I had a guy today message me that um, it's reset his spawn for some reason when after he'd done this, so and he couldn't open chests and yeah. So I'll talk you through basically what we're gonna do. Um, it's really simple. It's very simple. Do not touch this. See that? Don't touch that. Simple. Okay, you got it. Nice. We've got five levels of chests. We've got a level one chest, a level two, a level three, and a level four, and a level five. These ones in here are physically impossible to get, okay? You cannot get these ones. For example, like, uh, I think 276 is someone like diamond armor. No, one of these, I think these are diamond armor. Um, 276 things are diamond sword. Uh, you can't get them, it's impossible. If you want, you can like copy, say I wanted them really rare, so you can still get them. I would just copy and paste them in there, um, but I don't want them in there, so I'm going to get there and out. Uh, just get rid of these. So say you want something like, I don't know, bread. We're going to type in um, Minecraft item codes. Yeah, Minecraft ID list. And then you want to type in the top. I'll put this link in the description for you guys. Um, what do we want? Um, bread. Bread. Oh look, 297. Go back into here. We want to make it really, really easy to get. So we're going to put slash space 297, comma. And then <clears throat> the next number is how many times you can find it in one chest. So as you see up here, we've got like uh, 268. So let's just have a look what 268 is. Um, I don't know, I think we can do it this way, 268. Yes, so 268 is a wooden sword. So you can only ever get one wooden sword in one chest. That makes sense. Oh my god. Uh, so 297, and we want bread. Say we want to find it three times in a chest. Wow, that was hard, wasn't it? Okay, so... Um, so it, the kind of intensity increases through the levels. So these ones are harder to get. These ones are, like, pretty hard to get, and these are, like... Really, really hard. That's I think that's iron sword and diamond or some chisman is like that. So that's simple. So let's just close that. We don't need that. Um, right, where's the next one? We have got config next. Yay! Uh, do not touch this again. Do not touch it. Enable debug messages. We don't need that. So just false that. Check for updates. True. This will just check if there is any updates, any new stuff. Um, right, auto start. This is a bummer. I hate this thing. Um, I really need a coder to sort this out. Um, so basically, when you have 20 players, I've put that as 20. So when I have 20 players that join a game, it will automatically start. Um, it will set the time to 20 seconds, so it will start counting down from 20 seconds. Um, and then also this one here, auto start vote, that means that like... Um, if they do, if I've allowed them in the permissions for um, slash sg vote, seventy five percent. When seventy five percent have voted, um, it can start the game. I might get rid of that one though. 
So um, next one is enable player queue. That's obviously when the game's in, uh, when the game's going, you just right click the sign and that'll put them in a queue. Uh, disallow commands. So this will get rid of uh, kind of all commands, but if you've got permissions, then you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, CMD whitelist. Uh, so we've got kit here. These are, um, I'll talk about the kits in a minute. Uh, it's, they're really confusing, so you may not want to use them. I don't really like using them. So that's, that's just to whitelist um, commands. Uh, sorry, I just forgot to say. So if you want, say, in the game, slash fly, then they can put fly in, but why would you want to do that? That's weird. Grace period, this is set to seconds, so this nobody can kill each other within the first 20 seconds of the game. Restock chests, we've got uh, true. So if it turns night, it will restock the chests overnight. I don't think there's a way of setting it at a time, like every two minutes or something. I, I don't think that's physically possible. Uh, okay, whitelist. Um, yeah, so these ones can be placed and these ones can be broken. You can get rid of them, add ones in. So say you put in your uh, chests um, sponge, okay, just for an example. So you'd find sponge on here. Um, type the item ID into the here. So you just put slash whatever it is. Like the... That's obviously not free, 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 free. And then... Um, it, the the game will allow you the players to place sponge, um, and here I think eighteen is something like a torch. I'm not sure. I think it is. Um, that means they can break them and like item frames and stuff. So that's that's a good one. It's good if you just get rid of that one, like just because it's not good when they can break stuff. Oh, uh, just while we're here, they can. Um, there are certain things they can break, but once you've made the arena, they can't break anything. Just to Shout that out. We're at end game. Um, I've set this to false. If you want um, an end game, then you do obviously how many players you want until the end of the game. Um, and whether fire lighting. So I hate this. Um, basically, when when there's like say there's five people left, you'd set this to true, and you'd set the interval to something like ten seconds. So every 10 seconds, a beam of lightning will come down on uh, where the players are on the map. So if you've got big maps, it's a good idea. But I hate doing it because you need to put every single one in a multiverse, uh, which can get really, really annoying. Uh, so that's that's not good to do. On uh, Deathmatch, I've had a couple questions about deathmatch. You can do it this way. You just set that to true. Time, uh, I think that's in minutes. Uh, and then you've got, so after half an hour, it'll put you into a deathmatch, which it'll just take you back to the spawn of your arena. And then you have 10 minutes to kill them. If you want to take them somewhere else, you will need people to code it for you, because obviously you can't do anything. It's what it says on the tin, basically. Um, and then stats, you can have points. If you've got a leaderboard thing, um, they're the things that come up. You don't really need to know about that because I'm sure none of you guys will really want stats. If you do, then um, go away. Um, we'll go with uh, kits next. This one's a new one to me. I've been learning about this, and a couple of you guys have asked for it. So obviously, version don't touch this means don't touch this. Enabled false. Um, I don't know why I just did my voice in. <laughs> so if you want to do kits, obviously true. Yeah, hold on. Oh, true. And then kit display mode, so we can add these in, show icon, auto select, we can put them in there. Uh, I'm not going to because obviously you know what it will look like. And then what you do in game is do slash show all when it will show all your kit contents. And here are your kits. So we have the cost, um, you can put the price in there. Um, icon, so the icon is, um, let me just have a look. Well, I think it was was it three three nine. Um, oh, wrong one. Three oh three nine no no, that one's okay. So that one's three three nine and this one's three nine nine. So one of them's paper and one of them's never still. So they'll be the kits. Um, obviously, then you got price and I'm pretty sure it's the same as essential shop. Um, in the way you set it up, I'm not totally sure on that. So don't hold me to that word. You may need to have a look at other stuff. I'm sorry. 
um, if I couldn't help you. Uh, this, obviously, item ID, um, sharpness, blah, 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 blade. And, yeah, so <laughs> it's really simple. I just, I'm not quite sure how to apply them into the games yet. So, I mean, if I do figure it out, um, I'll put a thing in the description or the comments on how to do it. Uh, I'm sorry, I just, I really don't know with, um, I only know how to set them up, not how to use them. But I'm pretty sure it's the same as the shop, so... Yeah, um, messages. This is a new part of the plugin. You can set all of the messages, so whether they died, whether they've joined the queue, whether information, words, errors, deaths. So say like you were killed by a fall, rather than hit the ground too hard, you'd be like tried bungee jumping or some shit like that. And um, I can't spell. And then you say you want it red and four. I did click four. There you go. It's really, it, that's self explanatory. I don't need to explain that really, do I? No, I know. No, I know. Yeah. So we'll just close that. And we'll just close that. And then we've got the systems. You, uh, you don't even need to see that. I can show you it, but you don't even need this because this all sets up automatically when you set up your arenas, obviously, in the game, and you can see that all there. So if this tutorial helps, then go and click that like button, oh my god, and then um, yeah, check out my other series and stuff, and um, bye! Hello Chad, cool. Now we're spectating this match here as uh, something ninjas on the 104% knockback ratio as he knocks down the leaves and he's taking out Chamala. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him down to two lives. Interesting gameplay here as he just stands there dramatically.